Good morning, everybody. Gonna make a new thing. Okay, so this week got the better of me. I'm just waking up. We had a holiday Monday, and I'm totally behind schedule. So much so that it's Wednesday morning, and I'm making a video for Wednesday morning. <laughs> so I just wanted to do something that would be a little bit educational, a little bit fun, and it wouldn't take me a million years to do, because uh, I kind of put things off to the literal last minute. Like, usually I'm posting about an hour from now, but we gotta get these done. So my topic for today, and you'll excuse me if I'm drinking my coffee and eating my breakfast. My topic for today is that neutral doesn't need to be boring. You get a character, you import your guy, and he looks like this. He's standing stock still. And this is because rigging in this position, or if you're doing a 3D, then your guy is going to be out like this possibly. Because these are the ways that are most efficient for rigging. And your character will rotate around there. My son and my husband are downstairs, so you might hear them playing. All right, so we're just going to move him up here. So when you bring your character into the scene, especially if you've got extras in the background or something, you don't need to leave him super neutral like that. I mean, all you have to do to make him alive is just throw in a little bit of contrapposto. So just by doing this... You can even give him like a three-quarter head and a front body if you have those available to you. And he's got a little bit more interest. Even your background character. He can be looking over here. Just doing hip sway. He can move back and forth. So if you had a blue character. So if you had this guy here and he was just an extra in your scene. Maybe he's just waiting for the bus. So if you tilt his hips this way. Raise his shoulder up. Give him a little slouch. So you don't have to do a whole lot. To keep him from being totally neutral. I mean, and there's the sort of cliche thing. It's just having your hand on your hip. Like this. Just taking the weight off one leg. That kind of stuff. So this is a little bit more of a feminine pose. Doing something like this. And you'd want to make sure that your foot is planted in a nice way. But just throwing stuff like that in is going to give your background characters or just your character uh, in your normal scene... It's going to give him a little bit more life, so so we can do that more cliche pose. It's a little bit easier to draw this stuff quickly than to manipulate a rig. She's not having anything to do with that guy. The, a good thing, especially if people are just waiting around for something, a good neutral pose nowadays is just the phone, the phone-obsessed guy. So we'll think if this is his main body mass, we'll put his feet somewhere down here so he can carry himself. Doop -a -doop -doop -a -doop. And just give him a little bit, a little bit of a curve. So even thinking of all your extra characters in your scene, just filling up the background space, you can give them something a little bit more interest. One thing that's important if you're doing characters, even if they're just extras or something, if they have a prop like this and they're sitting down. Boop. So we're gonna put his little butt on the chair and bring his leg out. The longest spidery legs. <laughs> So a lot of times you'll get something that looks like this, which is okay. But you want to make sure that these hips have been addressed. So we can just slide these pockets up if they're not necessary. And this front leg, instead of just doing whatever comes along, if you give it a little bit more perspective and care, make sure that your butt is actually on the seat. This is really important. And then here we've got a cutter that's messing up our leg because the leg isn't made to be sitting and oftentimes that's the case in cutout animation it's kind of like you can get one or the other so let me see if we have another pelvis that works we do not so what i'm going to do is do drawing substitution and the color art i believe is what's cutting that leg so let's think about what the leg actually should be like give it a little bit of roundness think about the movement of that now we're getting a little bit too much leg that's the pocket so if you wanted to you could as we did before you could add a drawing substitution to this pocket instead of adding new new layers here and you could grab a little bit of blue and just paint it if you know that your character has to sit throughout the entire scene then it's not unusual for me to sneak in little drawings like this on a pocket layer or you could even add an overlay layer and make sure that you're getting your your character sitting so now his neutral pose is a little bit more planted. It feels like he's actually sitting in there. He's got some man spreading happening. And then even if he's just sitting at a table, think about getting some interesting lines in his spine, getting his elbows up on the non-table. I'm pretending there's a table here. And you can give it a little foreshortening. 
think about perspective. Always think about your perspective and your shoulders because that's that's what's going to keep you from looking too cut outy. is when you rotate things if you make sure to counter animate them. Now he's sitting at the table. It's pretty lively. And again, doing something like sitting, there's a million and a half ways you could sit. Like so here, if he's leaned back on the chair, obviously the chair's proportions are going to be involved. But think about the type of character that you're working with, even if it's just a little extra. Is he sort of a cool guy who's going to lean back? Or is he sitting next to someone who's like really interested in what he's saying? So they're going to lean forward. So here they're sitting at a table, maybe this guy's back, he's slouching, he's just having a good time. This person's maybe got a little crush. It's like, oh, hello, you're so cute, I like what you're saying. Maybe they're, they've got sort of together knees under the table. And you could have another person who's like, just can't, is just really annoyed that they're being third wheeled right now. Or he's sort of slouchy too. His leg could be turned out. So keeping these forward legs, like keeping everything from just being L-shaped, these legs like this, that's going to keep you from looking too cut outy. Because this is, when you have those Barbie doll rotations, that's when things start looking really cut out. And I think the the best cut out is when you, when you bother to take out some of the, the cut out problems when you take the extra time because cut out does save a lot of time but i don't think that's a, an excuse to just have sloppy nonsense <laughs> right. so this is kind of a fun little exercise this is great if you like going out sketching on location because you can see how a bunch of people will sit i used to live near a mall that had a bunch of these old dudes who just sit around and play cards or whatever at the table and there was just so many different postures and stuff as long as they didn't get you drawing them so you're really grouchy old guys um, going to the subway, the park. So even if you're not in a big city, if you go to your local park, there might be a couple people kicking around that you can draw or uh, a little coffee shop or there's all sorts of places. I know I grew up in the woods, but I was pretty close to the local harbor. So, I mean, you could go down there and draw the guys coming in on their boats, hauling off their nets or hauling their gear, stuff like that. There's so many fun places where you could see people that congregate. Because, I mean, even down by the old wharf, you'll see the old fellas standing around having a little chat that's not unusual to see the old guys like this they have cool little skipper hats and the big rubber boots and then you might have another guy who's like super skinny and tall and he's carrying a lobster trap or something so no matter where you go you can find people who aren't doing anything but are still being very interesting and this guy's like oh yeah I, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. I also do manly things. So instead of just doing nothing, they could be having a lively chat. Their hands are getting in there. They got a few little props. Maybe they got a little fishing thing. Or maybe this guy's holding up his new fishing pole. Talking about, he's talking about the, the tensile strength of his new fishing gear. And they're just having a nice chat. But they're not, they're not this. That's the moral of this story. Have some fun. Go out, do some sketching on locations, and your your neutral characters are going to be a lot more interesting. Even just your character designs, getting uh, seeing how you can implement some of the postures and sizes and shapes of some of these different people. Get some just general interest in all your drawings and stuff. So super fun. So that's my shotgun lesson today. It's only 15 minutes. I didn't do any announcements. I don't really have any. Um, if anybody's interested in getting animation revisions reviews or anything like that like but send me some stuff nobody sent me anything yet I feel sad and alone i know people are watching because youtube tells me so okay i'm not gonna eat while i'm doing this again so it's happening <laughs> yeah so send me some stuff i don't have anything planned right now like i said i'm so flustered this week long weekends totally messed me up so hopefully we'll have something put together Sunday that's a little bit more put together. <laughs> if you have anything in particular you'd like to see coming up tutorial-wise, let me know. I saw that the animated jump was a pretty big hit, so I could animate another simple scene or something. That's something I could do. We'll figure it out. I mean, we don't have a plan, but we'll figure it out. Okay. Thanks for anybody who dropped by my live stream as well. Uh, it's always fun to see you guys and have a little Q&A. My live stream is going to be Monday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern time. If you guys want to drop by, even if it's for just five minutes to say hello, I really appreciate it. I think it's great. It makes me feel like I'm not alone in internet land. That's it. Thanks for dropping by. Like, share, subscribe, all those things internet people ask you to do, and I will see you in the next video.